Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another edition of Geometry Television. Alright, so what are we going to do today? We're going to prove triangles similar in a two column proof. Okay, so we got the proof right here. First thing we have to know is what is similar. Okay, so we're going to write here in the analysis part, we're going to write our notes. So, we should write it in our notebook. If you have a notebook, this should be going right in there. Similar shapes have... Da, 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 da. First thing, corresponding sides are proportional. They don't have to be the same size, they have to be proportional. But the corresponding angles or angels are starts to see you know what it is yeah congruent so there it is similar shapes have corresponding sides that are proportional and corresponding angles that are congruent okay so we're gonna do some proofs today no problem okay so first given MN to PR so MN is right here to PR so that's a corresponding side okay got it and ON to QR. ON is here. QR is here. Okay. Notice how I'm tracing. You should be tracing also. Also, we have angle N is congruent. That's what that means. This sign here means congruent. So angle N, boppity bop right there, is congruent to angle R. Okay. So I have to prove that angle triangle M N O is ooh this right here that means similar break that down this line right here means similar this line here with the squiggle line and the equal sign this means congruent yeah okay congruent so given M N to P R equals O N to, to Q R that's given okay angle N is congruent to angle R that's given so one thing you always have to do is write what's given. It's one thing you always do in the proof, okay? Now, we can conclude that triangle MNO and is similar to triangle PQR because of side angle side. This works for similarity. I know you've been working for, with congruency in side angle side, but it also works with similarity. Okay, so let's look at that proof. Let's try one with some blanks. Ooh, we're going to see if we can do it. I don't know. So looking at this one right here. See this right here? Let's see if we can fill in the blanks. Okay, so MN to PQ. So MN, whoop, to PQ. Whoop, like that. Okay, it equals... So it's a proportion equals NO to QR, okay? So the corresponding sides are proportional so far. We have, we have two of the sides. We don't have three of the sides, so we may have need something else. Oh, angle N is congruent to angle Q. So angle N is congruent to angle Q. Okay, first I mark everything up. Okay, so MN to PQ, I'm looking down here. Why, what's the reason for that? Starts with a G. You know what it is? Oh, yeah. Given. Yeah. Okay, what else is given? Oh, yeah. So what we saw last time, right? Angle N is congruent to angle Q. Got it. So, therefore, triangle MNO is, what's the symbol mean? What's that mean? Oh, yeah, similar to ang triangle PQR. Why? Because we have a side right here. We got an angle and we have a side. We have a side corresponding side and a congruent angle and a corresponding side. So it's side, angle, side. Got it. So that is one down. Okay. So let's take a look at this one right here. Now, what does it give us? All right. Look at the given. That's what I first thing I always look at. A, B to D, E. So A, B to D, E. That looks corresponding. Corresponding means like in the same place. A, C to D, F. AC to DF. Okay, that's also corresponding. That means they're equal or proportional. Okay, equals 
What else? Uh oh, B C to E F. B C to E F. Okay. So I gotta prove that these triangles are similar. That's what that means. Similar like that. Okay. So here is my proof. Well, if all the sides are proportional, that means it's similar because it's side, side, side. So side, side, side also used in proving similarity. Okay. Side, side, side in this case doesn't mean congruent sides, it means proportional sides. Not congruent sides, we're talking about similarity, okay? So, boop, back to here. Ooh, okay. So now we have to fill in the blanks. Check it out. Okay. So AB is to DE, okay? So that's corresponding sides. BC is to EF, okay? Trace what I trace. Everything I write, you write. You know how to do that. AC to DF, okay? So it looks like we have all corresponding sides are proportional. So I have to write AB, I'm just copying this down. AB to DE equals BC to EF equals AC to DF. Whoop, got it. And why? Because it's side, side, side. All the sides are proportional. Cool. All right. Next, what are we going to do? Let's do another one from scratch. Let's do another one from scratch. Check it out. Okay, so let's first draw our chart. Draw our chart. So we have statements here. And we have reasons over here. Statements and reasons. First thing, okay, AB, right here, AB to DC. Trace that. Okay, now it equals AC to CE. All right. And I also know that AB is parallel to CD. Okay, parallel lines, I'm thinking like alternate interior, alternate exterior angle, something like that. Uh huh, uh huh. So I have to prove this. A triangle ABC is similar, that means similar to triangle CD, no problem. First things first, let's write the given stuff down. A, B, to D, C equals A, C to C, E. Why is that? That is given. Boom. First statement done. So maybe I need to think about it. What do you think I'm going to use? Am I going to use the side, side, side or side, angle, side? So now it's time to start like thinking about where you're going to go with this. Um, since it gives me this, maybe we're doing this because I, maybe I need another angle. Let's see if we can figure it out. Let's write the other given now. So AB is parallel to CD. Okay. So why? Because that is given. All right. So what can I do with this information? I need maybe another angle here to prove because I have two sides. Whoa. What if I could get, ooh, man. What if I can get this angle and this angle? Then I have a side angle side like I did with the first example. Let's see. Ooh, let's extend this line. Let's extend this line. Ooh, let's extend this line. You see this and this right here? What's that relationship? Looks like same side, skip one. It starts with a C. These are parallel lines. Uh, corresponding, yeah, corresponding. So that would mean angle B, A, C, B, A, C is congruent to angle D, C, E. D, C, E. Why? Because they are corresponding angles. Boom. Okay. So now I have side, angle, side. So it looks like I'm done. So I've proven that we have side and we have the angle right here. Side and angle. So now I'm good to go. So I'm going to write my proven statement. Triangle. A. 
B, C is similar to triangle C, D, E. Why? Side, angle, side. There we go. Done. So you can do this side, 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 angle, side, not a problem. You see these right here? Right here? One and two. I want you to see if you can do these and fill in the reasons. Ready, set, great job. Go.